today I'm going to be doing a review and a tutorial on the brand new Too Faced Born This Way Healthy Glow Moisturizing Skin Tint. So it's basically a tinted moisturizer from Too Faced based on that Born This Way, the popular foundation line. And it's got SPF 30 in it. So I was very excited to be trying this because I'm in skincare SPF nut. Basically, I'm obsessed with it. To find a product a makeup product with SPF in it that has the right staying power. So I usually just end up wearing SPF and then makeup on top of it. But it's always nice to have a foundation or tinted moisturizer that has SPF in it to double layer. Like I wear my normal and then this on top and you're protected even more. So I love that. A lot of shades I looked on the site. I have three here around my skin tone, which I will show you guys swatches and show you which shade I applied on my face today. That matches me perfect. So it's a color true formula, conceals imperfections with sheer buildable coverage, feels weightless, soft focus, erythral glow, healthy and natural. They'll think you were born this way. So all of that is accurate to be honest. I have to just say that. It feels weightless on the skin. It feels like nothing's really on there. I do a big skincare routine always every day so my skin is very glowy underneath when i put this on top you can still see the glow coming through but it also covers up and evens out my skin tone and any imperfections i may have so the fact that it does both of those and feels good on the skin is amazing to me it isn't thick doesn't move doesn't slide at the end of the day i have combo skin an oily t-zone so it often does but it wears very well i'm just honestly obsessed with this product so skincare focused product so i love they're coming out with this so it's got hyaluronic acid in it says it has watermelon and apple hyaluronic acid it really does it all so i will show you guys this is the shade i'm wearing on my skin today warm nude so it comes in this cute dropper bottle it has lots of product in it 60 mils it's 24 hour wear again i agree vegan uva uvb protection love 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 to hear that all day hydration non-acnegenic so not pore clogging i have worn this again for already in the last week or two and my skin has not broken out and i am acne prone so i'm very happy to kind of confirm that so this is warm nude which is my shade blends into my skin very nicely as you blend it in it does turn into like a soft finish that I love, I'll show you in the tutorial, that I love buffing in with a brush like this. And it kind of just makes it wispy, but it doesn't, it moves the product in the perfect way. So there's a technique I like to do with this product and it just blends into the skin beautifully. The finish of it is so, it's like a cloud. It's just the best finish. See anything, like I honestly can't see any makeup on the skin. This product, honestly, I've tried nothing like it. I'm so excited about this foundation. So, so, so excited. It's hard to blow me away with foundations because it just is. Next shade I have, just to show you if you're looking for a shade match for yourself, this is light beige. These, these next two are darker than my skin tone. So maybe if I get, if I put more of a tan on, I will use these. Light beige right next to warm nude. So it it's a little darker. See it there, a little deeper than that shade for sure. The last shade I have to show you guys is Natural Beige. This one is, I think, the darkest one that I have, or warm toned. So kind of like olive warm tone shade, warm tone undertones. And so Natural Beige, Light Beige has more of a neutral or cool tone undertone right here. So those are the shades I had, just so you can kind of pick a shade for yourself. Keep watching for my tutorial. Go right into the tutorial and start applying. I'm using Warm Nude, which is a really, really good shade for me. I've already used it and it's worn and matched perfectly. I like to just kind of, you don't need a lot of this product because it is very buildable coverage, but also light at the same time. I like to put it on my hand and then I go in with a foundation brush. This is my favorite. One of my favorite foundation brushes from It Cosmetics. I'm not even sure if they still make this, but I do really like It Cosmetics brushes. So I just kind of go in with a little bit and you'll start to see the 
the coverage factor. Like it covers so much rising skin tint or tinted moisturizer. Like you barely need any and I kind of just do these light buffing motions because the formula of it is that soft matte cloud kind of texture. So it works really well when you do that kind of motion. It kind of makes it look airbrushy. Barely, barely need any, which I really love because I don't love wearing a lot of makeup on my face anymore. I just like to even out a little bit, add a little bit of glow and kind of make that nice canvas for applying the rest of my makeup. I really, really am a fan of this foundation tinted moisturizer if you haven't already grasped that, but now you can see why, how beautiful it looks applied. And how little you need of this to be, just have a beautiful finish and wear. And it does have that kind of soft matte cloud-like finish to it. Like look how perfect in that lighting, it still kept that glow of my skin and my skincare underneath, but it covers and you barely need any. It's just like everything you'd want in a foundation. Stunning, like I, and I still have some left on my hand. Like it is just one of my new absolute favorites. I'm obsessed with it for summer. I probably will now be wearing this every day, especially because it has that extra SPF 30 in it. So. It's just extra sun protection. So I'm going to, this is obviously, it feels so nice. It's not sticky or tacky. It's glidable, like that soft matte texture, but glowy, you can see the glow coming through my skin. So I'm gonna go and apply the rest of my makeup for the day. I'm just gonna do a natural kind of makeup look and I'll come back and show you guys what the final makeup looks all together and my final thoughts on the Healthy Glow Moisturizing Skin Tint. So my makeup is done, got a little outfit change. And obviously this is the Healthy Glow Foundation Tinted Moisturizer. I don't know what to call it. I feel like it's both underneath. It looks so amazing. It's just like the perfect in, at least for how I like to wear face makeup and like my skin to look. The glow shows through, your skin shows through, but also covers everything you wanna have covered. And it's not greasy, it's not slidey, it's not too matte. It's the perfect kind of cloud texture. I love how this looks. Any way you swing it, doing makeup. I have worn this all day already and it looks great at the end of the day as well because of that thin, that kind of skincare focused formula. I find those wear really well during the day. They don't get as cakey because it's less concentrated, just makeup, it's skincare and makeup. So I feel like it just sinks in the skin a little a lot better. So I am a huge fan of this. You guys have to try it. I was very shocked by it because I just don't think I've tried something quite like this that has SPF 30 in it and a finish like that and staying power and all of those things I was just saying. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it down below and follow me here at Hollywood Beauty. I post every single week with brand new videos and don't forget to head over to Instagram as well at Hollywood Beauty and follow me over there. As always, I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you next time.